Coupons and deals. Are you unsure which one is gonna make you the most money going into Q4? Hi guys, I'm Chris Steph. If you're new to my channel, this series is all about Amazon Australia and how you can become a successful seller in 2024 and beyond. Today we're talking about the busy period, the silly season, the time when you can make a lot of money going into Q4. Q4 gives you the opportunity to make a lot of money fast and you need to be on top of your coupons and your promotions and your deals. You need to know what works and what's gonna benefit your products to make the most amount of money. So today I'm gonna to get into a presentation format where I'm gonna run through the differences between coupons and deals, the benefits of both, and how you can use them to promote your product, especially in this busy time of year, but in general, all over the year, and when you can use them, how they work, so that you can get your product selling at a faster rate and increase that ranking of your product, make a lot more money, and become one of the top sellers. So let's jump straight into the presentation and learn more about coupons and deals. All right, guys, I just want to clarify that coupons and deals are different types of promotional offers on Amazon. As you can see here, circled, this is a Prime Day deal, and there are different types of deals, which I'll go over shortly. Next up here, you have a 10% save. This is a coupon. And as you see, having a deal or a coupon allows your listing to take up more real estate on the page and draws the customer's attention. So the good thing about deals and coupons is when people are scrolling, they see these big red marks or these big green marks, these green boxes, and this draws their attention. So firstly, what is a coupon? A coupon is a promotional offer for customers which either offers them a specific dollar amount or a percentage of the price of the product. Now the customer has to manually apply this coupon at checkout and you can see the coupon pop up here. So when a customer goes to look at a product on a product listing, you will see that there is a little coupon and they tick the apply 10% coupon and once the coupon is ticked, it will come up with this 10% coupon applied and this has then been added to your product at the checkout. So as a seller, when can you use coupons? Well, realistically, you can use a coupon whenever you want. Now we spoke earlier about Q4, but coupons can be added any time of the year to give your products a discount and give it an advantage over other sellers. The main reason we use them is to help your product stand out and we wanna boost sales and push inventory. Coupons are also great when a deal is on and if you're not part of this deal, you run a coupon to compete with the others. So not everyone can run deals at certain times of year and we'll touch on this soon, but having a coupon to counter someone else's deal especially if you're one of the sellers in the top or top seller in that, in that niche and they start running deals, you want to have something to combat them with so you can run a coupon. So let's cover what deals are now on Amazon. Amazon deals are specific promotional events during certain time periods. The deals can be either offered by Amazon, for example, Prime Day, or you can create your own deal. However, Amazon gives specific dates to choose from. When you run deals, you feature in other marketing promotions and on deals pages. So you actually get more eyes on your product. People are searching these deals pages and typing in the keywords and you'll show up as a deal where if you're just searching for the keyword in normal Amazon, you'll just show up there with the deal logo. So there are two different types of deals that you can run. The first one is a lightning deal. This lasts for four to 12 hours, normally determined by Amazon and you pick a date and then you'll have a best deal. These normally last for a week. Best deals are normally best run during the Prime Day event, during Christmas period, Father's Day, those weeks leading up to it, we run these best deals, you get a week lot of sales and it can really promote your product. Now, one thing to note and to make sure you guys are clear on, you need to meet criteria to participate in coupons and deals. The criteria that you need to meet is the listing must be active. You need to have three or more stars if you've only got one to four reviews or 3.5 or more stars for five plus reviews. Now, one other thing to note is that new products with no reviews are eligible for coupons. However, old products with no reviews are not eligible for coupons. Next, the coupon discount has to be equal to or lower than the lowest price in the last 30 days. So if you've been running a price discount leading up to this time where you want to run a coupon, you have to make that coupon go as far or be as big as your lowest price. So let's talk about the deal criteria. For a deal, a seller has to apply for a deal in the deals page. The listing must be active, the star rating must be three or more stars, and the discount has to be equal to or lower than the lowest price in the last 30 days. Similar requirements to the coupons. The difference, however, is you have to use Amazon's minimum discount. So deals normally have a minimum percentage discount that you have to abide by. They can vary from 15% for smaller deals to 20% for big events like Prime Day. 
So once again, the deal has to be this percentage. You can't make up the percentage. You have to follow. You can either have this percentage, sorry, or it has to be more. So you could have 25, 30%, but you have to have the minimum percentage that Amazon requires for that deal. So unlike a coupon where you can make up your percentages, 5%, 6, 7, 8, 9%, with deals, you have to follow Amazon's minimum and Amazon won't let you process or apply for this deal if you do not meet that minimum percentage. The other thing for deals is if you're not a top seller or if you're not selling through enough inventory and Amazon thinks that this deal is not going to be profitable or you're not going to do very well, they won't allow you to even apply for the deal. So your product has to be doing well. It has to have a good sell-through rate for Amazon to actually allow you to apply for this deal. And you'll notice this when you go to apply for deals that only certain products are actually able to be listed and certain products are allowed to be added into the deals page. Now guys, to find the deals, head to the deals page in Seller Central. And here you can type in the ASIN or even just look new deal and you'll be able to see what products are eligible. So guys, that's it for the differences between coupons and deals. I'm going to quickly show you how to get to the deals page and how to get to the coupons page so you can apply for these going into your Q4 or going into your sales. So we're now in the Seller Central account and what I'm going to do is just show you how to get those deals and coupons going. So if you come up here, you can see advertising and we have two options. We have deals and we have coupons. So if we click on deals, what you're going to see is deals that you've already applied for, but if this is your first time selling, you're going to have nothing here. So you're going to go up to the top right and click create new deal. From here, you can then select the product you want to use and apply for and click select and create your deal. Very simple, very easy to do. Now, if you want to go to coupons, advertising, coupons, and once again, you can see previous deals that I've been applied for or previous deals that I'm currently using right now. As you can see from this example, there is some failed coupons here. That's because I didn't meet Amazon's criteria. I didn't re meet enough uh, discount. And I, within that 30 day period, I was still too, uh, the coupon was still too low. So this is gonna show up in your coupon dashboard and it's gonna click failed. But otherwise you have your coupons here. And once again, to create a coupon, you just go create new coupon. You're gonna select the product you wanna sell, create coupon and away you go. You set your pricing, your discounts, and that's it. So guys, that's it for Inside Seller Central, how you can get to and create these deals and coupons to help you as sellers. So let's have a little recap of deals versus coupons. Firstly, deals are time sensitive. You have to apply for these and you're giving a certain week or certain day. Coupons, you can run whenever. Can you choose your minimum discount? With deals, you have to abide by Amazon's minimum discount. With coupons, you do not need to. You can do five, six, seven percent It doesn't matter. However, for both, they still have to be lower than your cheapest price in the last 30 days. Major holidays, now deals are great for major holidays. People are looking for these deals and trying to buy during these holiday periods. Coupons are could use whenever. They're not specific to your Prime Day, to your Black Friday. Visually stand out, now they both visually stand out. Both deals and coupons have a highlighted green and red standout feature which helps get that click. Additional marketing, now with deals, Amazon will actually promote the deal so they might send out emails, those further advertising, pop-ups for Prime Day, for Black Friday, for Father's Day. So by applying for deals, you could actually have your product promoted uh, with additional marketing for free. Whereas with coupons, they're not date specific, so there's no additional marketing for them. Amazon specific page, now deals have a deals page where you can go to and search for a product which is great because people go there looking for a good price and there's less competition from the other listings because you're only featured there during the deals period. Now with coupons, you don't have a specific page. You're only able to see the coupon when people search the keyword and the products are there. So there's more products around, there's other coupons around, there's no specific page. So that's a quick summary and comparison between deals and coupons. So that's it for today's presentation, guys. I hope you now have a better understanding of the difference between coupons and deals and how they can benefit you as an Amazon seller. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe to keep up with all the videos that I drop because I'm gonna to continue to give more useful information that's gonna help you on your Amazon journey. But for now, that's it. Happy selling and I'll see you in the next one.